the White House released a video of US President Donald Trump this Wednesday in which he called for peace, sought to distance himself from those who attacked the Capitol last week, saying they were not his true supporters. Over the course of the past year, made so difficult because of COVID-19, we have seen political violence spiral out of control. We have seen too many riots, too many mobs, too many acts of intimidation and destruction. It must stop. Whether you are on the right or on the left, a Democrat or a Republican, there is never a justification for violence. No excuses, no exceptions. America is a nation of laws. Those who engaged in the attacks last week will be brought to justice. And the video posted this Wednesday comes in stark contrast to Trump's first message about the riots, which he released hours after the incursion into the Capitol. Trump called for respect for law and pledged to provide the security to guarantee the safety of the presidential inauguration next week. Directed federal agencies to use all necessary resources to maintain order. In Washington, D.C., we are bringing in thousands of National Guard members to secure the city and ensure that a transition can occur safely and without incident. Like all of you, I was shocked and deeply saddened by the calamity at the Capitol last week. And President Trump also referred to attacks on freedom of speech, no doubt in reference to the suspension of his accounts by several social media platforms. I want to say a few words about the unprecedented assault on free speech we have seen in recent days. These are tense and difficult times. The efforts to censor, cancel, and blacklist our fellow citizens are wrong, and they are dangerous. What is needed now is for us to listen to one another, not to silence one another.